I think the biggest thing that I love about Doc now that I've used it and now I manage how a team uses it is it just elevated the quality of follow-up. We are in a super competitive market. It's annoyingly competitive. I've been doing this for three years and I'll hear about a new recognition company that I've never heard of before. And I'm like, how is that even possible? This space is that big. And so in the beginning, when we were small, we had to find those meaningful differentiators and we won so many deals in the process. Our buying process was easier. Our follow-up was more simplified and more streamlined. And that ended up being a catalyst for a lot of our growth is we just tried to be easier to buy. And so Doc be kind of became this vehicle where our competitors were sending just these snippets. They're like, here's your price quote in the email. And we were sending these curated documents that had our G2 reviews in it. And it had these really nice pictures, right? We had headshots done for everybody. So it was cohesive. And we were sending all these additional tools and the follow-up was just, it was streamlined. And so that's just kind of how all of our follow-up is driven. We're not sending case studies via email. We're uploading it to the doc and we're reminding people that like we were listening when we gave them an initial demo. I think our best demo is the last four or five minutes is talking about, hey, here's everything that I've already prepped for you and everything that we've already discussed is gonna live in here. And then we can even send that link and make sure they click on it beforehand so they know how to get in there. If you can get you or your reps to demonstrate that you've been thinking about them beforehand, it goes a long way. I think people remember that. I think my core job is like, how do I increase win rate? We got a healthy inbound motion. We have plenty of people trying to buy. How are we moving that from 25 to 30% and the implications for the business are huge for those small incremental things. And so when I'm meeting with reps, it's like, you should be adding stuff to your docs every three days. I want them going back and listening to the call and yeah, making it feel white glove. Hey, you mentioned that you use Microsoft Teams. I just added into your doc a new snippet. I recorded a Vidyard video explaining how we do this the best in the market. And I think one of the favorite things that I did when I was using it personally is I would always go into our client list and I would find people just like them in their industry and I'd put them at the top. Like we work with companies just like you and instead of a really generic website, we work with XYZ company that you've never heard of. It was like, no, we work with lawyers and we work with manufacturing groups and we work with baseball teams, you make it really specific and people noticed. Now that we add new users, the thing I love the most about Doc is it's elevating the quality and shortening the time for our new reps to get a tier follow-up. Part of scaling is now that we have this database of Docs, and now that we have 10 different reps that are creating them and innovating within Doc, the first follow-up that a new reps give is of the same tier as someone that's been here for two years using Doc every single day because they're copying that template. I just don't have any doubts that they're not giving the absolute best follow-up. I know exactly what their follow-up looks like. I know exactly what they're saying and it's standardized. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. Pipeline management is a huge part of my job and forecasting. And as a personal Doc user, if I had someone that got over like 12 views on my doc, they had like a 97% chance of closing. It was ridiculous. That was better forecasting than being in green light and HubSpot. It was just the level of activity. We're finding who the high quality accounts are. It's helping us who we target. And ultimately now I can pop in and actually see if the buyers are serious. And if they're looking at doc a lot, it's a huge sign that they're gonna buy. Now you got multiple people looking at your doc. I mean, the win rate goes from 50% to 75. And then if you can get it 10 to 12 views, yeah, we were closing every single one of those deals. It was very predictable. In a CRM, all information is created equal. So now we have these new data points that's like, hey, we know that if we get to more than 12 views inside of doc, close rate goes up. And so then I can reverse engineer that to meaning you need to be sending the doc more often. You need to be getting them clicking in. You need to be adding new stuff to it. You need to be demonstrating more value through that system. So deal prioritization in tandem with how we have it set up in the CRM really creates this meaningful forecast and meaningful prioritization from the reps themselves. This applies to anyone, but especially anyone that sells into a market where you have lots of competitors. Things like Doc that are relatively inexpensive but have a huge impact are always worth the investment. My job is just to increase win rate across the board 
And so when I find things like Doc that are inexpensive and work, that's when you're in the money zone, right? Because I'm at the disposal of our dev team for how fast we shoot out features, but this is something that I feel like meaningfully has increased our win rate and had nothing to do with the product and team. It was just investing in the right software.